what up y'all so today i'm going to be installing the turn signal leds for the front we're going to be installing resistors including the leds and this harness that i got because this this side of my oem harness uh, got water into it and it got corroded so i have to replace it and there's no replacement for it so i had to order this one for the daytime running light to make it turn on whenever i'm gonna be cutting this to make it work so let's get started all right so my passenger side one is actually pretty easy compared to the right one left side you just go in and it is literally right here behind this wire so you just turn this and pull it out and that's my turn signal pop it out of place put it to the side harness fell so get it again and then just go ahead and grab your LED, pop this one into place, and there you go. That's your LED. Now you gotta peel this one, this little lube, a little bit back. There's only two wires, so you connect one side of the resistor to the black one, and then the other side to the blue one on this car. I don't know if it's the same color on this one, but there's only two on the driver's side, but there's only two wires, so you don't really have to worry. It just goes one to the negative and one to the positive. So it doesn't matter which one goes to which, but I'm gonna go ahead and install the resistor and try to see how the get to the back of that passenger, one, uh, the driver's side one. So I'll be right back. All right, so getting ready to install the resistor just peeled the wires and everything i'm gonna be doing the same thing i did to the back uh the back side peel it a little bit make the hole and then put one side through the hole and wrap it around and close the hole and then just wrap the, the wire around Just like that, grab the other side, then wrap and put the wire through the hole, close the hole, and wrap the wire. If I can actually, there you go. To hold, uh, wrap the wire around the, the other wire so I can't really get the other one done but I'm just gonna do that then put some electrical tape to uh, figure out how to do that and then yeah so put the electrical tape on there put it back in this one, this side's complete do the exact same thing to that side so you gotta remove some things I think you have to remove the cover and the cover to that so shouldn't be that hard but i'll be right back oh yeah just got done with the left side the right one's still not done but you can see it's a whole lot brighter and it's a whole lot more crisp of a signal looks good just gotta get that right side done left side's complete like i said all i had to do was cut the wire put that resistor on put the led Put it back in place and twist it back into place so it can lock itself. Alright guys, so I'm going to get started on this right side. I'm not taking the cover and that off and everything like all the videos, and all the other videos do it. I'm just taking this off. This comes off with a clip here and a clip here that holds this in place. Mine was already broken, but... I'm gonna be replacing that one day, so I'm not that worried about it. 
I do want to get that piece out though. So put that up there. There's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt right here and a 10 millimeter bolt over here. Take those off and this should just come straight out of place. So just lift this up and wiggle this out of, the, out of place. Take it out and that comes right out. So that gives us access to the whole backside and there's our, our bulb. So we just gotta take that out, put the, uh, put the LED bulb in, put the resistor on and put it back in, put the air box back in, should be complete. All right, guys, so I just got the left and right side done. All you gotta do is take that bulb out, splice into the wire again, put the resistor in, put the bulb back in, and I'm about to put the, the air box back in, so that's the final product. Now turn!